welcome to Monday and welcome to the Daily Tip. How was your weekend? Mine was... <laughs> okay, I, I want to say the word awesome, but I've been taken to task about the word awesome because I use it all the time. Um, I can't help it. I just do. And I'm not, you know, an 18-year-old surfer <laughs> who can get away with it. Uh, but it was. It was just, it was really awesome. It was gorgeous. Uh, we got rain in Southern California, which we rarely get, and I love, because when it's over, it clears everything up, and you see that you live in a really beautiful location, because <laughs> the days that it's not raining, it's kind of smoggy, and you sometimes don't see the mountains. It was beautiful. As a matter of fact, uh, Sunday during the day, early day, before the game, I went down to the, uh, to the ocean and uh, had lunch down there. Took some video, and hopefully I can integrate that video with the daily tip, so you can see a little bit of that, but... If you're not seeing it roll right now, that's because I, I couldn't do it. So don't get your hopes up. But if you are seeing it roll, ooh, how beautiful is that? Ooh, ocean, ooh, whatever else was there. <laughs>
you do another coat and you see how that takes and and the more coats you put on there the more you're going to start to see the color change and get closer to what you're probably looking for um, I know you hate painted cabinets but I have to tell you most people that do have seen sort of bad painted cabinets uh, again with painted cabinets a lot of prep work and they've seen just globs of paint on there it doesn't look very attractive I'm going to show you some examples of really beautiful painted cabinets that look crisp clean and just really gorgeous I don't know if you can see that I will try to get a close-up of that later, but look how cool that looks. And also notice, oh, in the middle picture, that black and white checkered board floor, and if you can see that, that is such an inexpensive way to add interest and a pop of color in a kitchen. Flooring is so fantastic and so easy to do. And then look at these painted cabinets. They've even got a little bit of that... Uh, of that chalkboard paint in the center for notes it makes it really practical and breaks up all the white. So think about it. You know, you don't have to go painted, but I just want you to know that there are other options. And one of the easiest and most inexpensive ways to change up your kitchen is through hardware. Taking off all the hardware, putting on brand new hardware will instantly make those doors and drawers look fresh and brand new. You can also go to a salvage yard, and a lot of salvage yards have um, pretty large slabs sometimes of remnant stone and depending how much countertop you have you can get a brand new well not brand new you can get a remnant stone that can be fabricated for your countertops so you can keep the cabinets you have stain them or paint them brand new hardware an inexpensive a remnant stone countertop which would look spectacular and think about your flooring all that stuff could make your kitchen feel brand new and one of the other things that you can do is think about open shelving. If you've got a lot of upper cabinets and you want to make the kitchen feel um, a little less cabinet heavy and a little bit uh, airier, depending on, on what your needs are, check out this picture again and the um, open shelving cabinetry. I just think that makes a kitchen look bigger and, and just really contemporary and fresh, even in a, in a traditional space. And this is a really good book, by the way. It's called New Decorating Book from Better Homes and Gardens. So you might want to check it out. Again, I have absolutely no affiliation with this book. Thank you for the ton of questions that you guys are sending in. Uh, there is no shortage of questions, and I promise you I will try to get to, um, to each and every one of them. Okay, maybe not each and every one of them, but as many of them as possible right here on The Daily Tip. If you don't see your question answered on The Daily Tip, I will definitely answer it on um, Ask Angelo. Uh, the Ask Angelo page on AngeloHome.com. Thank you for joining us. And by us, I mean me and Sleeping Baxter in the other room. And uh, the, the city on the giant coffee mug today is Denver. Not planned, but big shout out to Denver. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>